Hello everyone, Mrs. Foster here with another tutorial. This time we're learning how to use the paint feature that you'll find on most computers. On your computer, you should have a search bar at the bottom left. Type in the word paint, P-A-I-N-T, and then the paint app should match your search, select paint, and this is what you will see. You have a white space here to draw on. If you want to resize it, you can click here on this little square, it's called a node, and you can resize the page. You have a pencil that you can make lines with. You have an eraser to erase with. You have a fill bucket to fill shapes and colors once you've drawn them. And over here you have different shapes that you can choose. In this assignment, we were asked to use the shape and pencil tools to draw a clown. Make the hair by drawing zigzag lines. Decorate the costume with diagonal lines. So for making a clown, I'm going to pick a circular shape so that this can be the clown's face. I'm going to pick another circle shape to draw a nose. While I'm still using the circles, I can draw the eyes and the pupils. I want to go to my pencil tool now. And make sure it's the resize. Maybe a small line. Okay. There's a line for his mouth. If I go to the feel tool, I can come to the shape I created for his nose and feel it. Oh, it's black. Thumb noses are usually red. Look here where it says color. We come over here and change the color. It changed to red. Now if I go back and touch his nose, he's going to have a red nose. I want to make his eyes green. Okay. I need to create his costume and his hair. I'm wanting to make the pencil larger. And I'm trying to remember how to do that. Oh, I see. So I'm on the pencil tool. Over here is the word size. Right now, this is a very thin line that we're using. We can move it up. And now when I draw, it's a much thicker line. But I don't want it to be green. I want it to be red. I'm going to take my erasing tool and erase some of this. Okay, back to my pencil. Line size. I want that largest line size. Let's make a red mouth. Okay. I think I want his hair to be purple. So I'm going to come over here and pick his hair. Now it tells us make the hair by drawing zigzag lines. So make sure that you're drawing zigzag lines. He's got some crazy hair. Okay. Then we're supposed to draw a costume. I think I'm going to use blue. I think we're going to use some more of my shapes. I'm going to give him a collar made out of stars. Now, it was saying that on his, on his costume, switch this to a rectangle, give him a couple of 
Daniel's here for his costume. The Sangler's costume that we should use diagonal lines to decorate it. You can do this one of two ways. You can go back to the pencil and try to draw a diagonal line, or you can choose the line tool from your shape box and it will make very nice straight lines for you. You've got to start at one point and drag it to another. Okay. I hope you have fun playing around with the paint tool. Now that I'm finished with it, I need to go up to the top left. You'll see a little purple and white square. When you hover over it, it says save. So you will save your work. When you're saving on your computer, pay attention to where it's going. Make sure that there's an adult helping you. I want to put this under the under my name and in my I like to put the uh, my files in my downloads folder. So I'm going to change this file name from untitled to my clown drawing and save it. Now I can close the paint application. I've closed my paint application and now I'm going to upload my picture. This is the assignment, Step 2 Upload, Unit 1, Lesson 3, Kindergarten. Creative Expression, Lines Can Make Busy Pictures. Click Add or Create. Choose File. And Upload from the computer. Okay, I know that I put it on my local disk under the user's roster and in my downloads folder and I named it clown. There's my clown drawing. Open it and it should upload. If you're having issues uploading your artwork, click Add, choose Drawings, click on the Insert button, Image, Upload from Computer. Here's my clown drawing that I made. I'm going to open it. Google Draw has pasted it into the program. Now I can close this and it shows that I have my Google Drawing over here ready to turn in. If you're worried about not seeing the picture here, you can check it by double clicking. There it is. Come up here and close the tab. Now that I've double checked, this is ready to turn in. Hit the turn in button and turn it in. I hope this video tutorial helps you in using the paint feature on your computer and helps you understand how to upload the work once you've completed it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And as always, make every day special.